The Oklahoma Turning Point Community Health Champion Award recognizes the Prague Turning Point Coalition for the establishment of the Prague Community Gardens and the Action-Based Learning Classroom. Creating Healthy Minds and Healthy Bodies Members, volunteers, uh, part of the coalition, they, they've gone out and did the work. Uh, we keep it watered. We got a grant through Lowe's for some uh, hose and sprinkler. They were allowed us to get some hand tools. The city made a tap on the water line out there and has provided uh, free water for the garden. Uh, that was all secured through the city council. That approved the project and is behind it 100%. Uh, it's doing well. We're hoping to expand it even more next year. And there was super sweet white onions and red onions. Um, when they were harvested, we planted okra. So there is a ton of okra that's doing very well right now. Went up to the Prairie Community Garden and it was kind of a hands-on project that we could do with the information that we learned in class. And we used science, of course, with the biology part. And we used math to measure the distance between the plants. And we tied in social studies for the being a good citizens in Prague and it helped out the community. You can show kids like, hey, you can pick a bunch of carrots up and this is what they look like, rather than they don't all come from a can or they're not all packaged in a nice, neat little basket in the grocery store. Like, there's a lot of steps that go into it. Uh, the community garden was great. It was a good thing for the community. It built uh, citizenship for us and it built a, a relationship with the parents more and we even had grandparents come up and help us in the garden so it was great. We loved it. The school has really been a big asset to the garden, uh, bringing the students out to help plant and harvest the vegetables and learn about the way, it's, the way vegetables are grown. Then what was really neat, the best part about that was the little cookbook they gave us at the end. And we took that cookbook back to the classroom and the kids marked each vegetable that was growing in the garden. And so they could go home and cook that. And they told their parents, hey, let's go up to the garden and get this vegetable and then we can cook that at home. So that was really neat. The Ardmore Institute of Health promotes healthy lifestyles. These include nutrition and physical activity habits. The action-based classroom got their attention. But that's the one that really grant, uh, got our interest in this case, was because it was a program that's done with good community backing that uh, is helping kids and their families and teachers and surroundings to embed physical activity into what they already did, which we think is one of the greatest ways to change a habit and uh, make it last for the long run. I think the original idea was was kind of gleaned from our um, summer reading program where the kids were, were getting reading instruction and also uh, exercise and activities along with it and that was such a success that I think that that kind of spurred the idea of this when we, when we learned of the chance of getting the learning lab, action learning lab. That's really appealing and again our interest is in long-term change and so if we can support programs that really give the program participants a chance to um, not only make a change in the way they do things but have it be sustainable, that's a real win for us and we thought this program had a real decent opportunity to do that uh, for these kids. And the Ardmore Institute of Health helped us out with this with the grant and, and we're so thankful to them for you know, reaching out to the to, to our school. Yes, the Action Base um, Lab is very much movement orientated. Everybody, they need to be moving. They need to be kinesthetic, kinesthetic, and they have to be able to hands on and move because when they start moving and get their energies, the oxygen starts flowing and gets their brain cells going. And I mean. I'm older and so I know movement through me also helps me remember and do things and so I've seen great deals with that of movement through the, through the lab. One skill they might be working on their ABCs, one skill might be their colors, they might be learning how to spell their color words. Each station had a 
skill that they were focused on, not just the activity, but they were focused on that certain skill. It is a new concept amongst schools. A lot of schools have come to watch what we do, and I think when the other teachers leave, um, they're very impressed by how well the kids are um, motivated. Ms. Freeze, I'm so bored. We got to go out to the action-based classroom. And I said, I know, we're not getting enough movement. We're not moving around enough. And she loved that movement. It's very oriented to move and they can be vocal. They're allowed to talk and they need that. At five and six years old, what we work with, they have to move. They, they can't sit steady all day and this gives them the opportunity to move and it be okay. Congratulations to Creating Healthy Minds and Healthy Bodies, winner of the Oklahoma Turning Point Community Health Champion Award.